It is a great pleasure to introduce my very good friend and soulmate, Terry Clardy. Terry is the ultimate wife and mother, the ultimate community volunteer, the ultimate Catholic, and the ultimate friend. I met Terry in the early 80s when she and Anthony moved with their four children from Tucson to Pasadena. Her only daughter, Tara, quickly became the best friend of our daughter, Lisa, and we delighted in their friendship. From day one, Terry became involved in her community, particularly the Catholic community, answering every need with a yes while inspiring others to join with her. I helped Terry as a Girl Scout leader, something I would never have undertaken on my own. She was also the girls' softball coach and the cheerleading coach who developed a competitive traveling team. Due to Terry, I am a much better bridge player and a slightly better golfer. And, and I am sure that many of you have no idea that Terry has a true calling as an auto mechanic. <laughs> Several of us will gladly attest to this when she came to the rescue on driving trips with small children in tow. And at the same time that she was raising these small children, she was able to define herself in service to others. She became active in many social service organizations and educational institutions, ranging from the Christchild Society to Mayfield Junior and Senior Schools, Loyola High School, and Ascending Lights. Her particular areas of concern are education and quality of life issues for those less fortunate. She works to ensure that all who desire an education, particularly a Catholic education, are able to attain this goal. A lot of people merely write a check or profess to feel strongly about a cause or need, but very few choose to do something about it. Terry is one of those who chooses and does and along the way, she consistently lights the fire of volunteer service. What inspires someone to volunteer to give back at her level? Judy Brooks asked me this question and I thought about it. I am sure her giving spirit comes from many sources, her parents and family growing up, her husband Anthony and children, her friends and her community, but most importantly, I think her spirit comes from her belief in the power and goodness of her God. Let's welcome and thank Terry for her dedication to our Catholic community. Archbishop Gomez, it is my privilege to present to you Terry Clority. Terry is escorted by Joe Sanders and accompanied by her husband, Anthony. Thank you very much. You know, it's really weird. I, I've spoken in front of many and sang in front of many, but I have butterflies tonight, <laughs> and I can hardly wait to get a drink. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> with that, I'd like to start, please. <laughs> I want to thank Archbishop Gomez and the committee for their acknowledgement of my devotion to the betterment of the community around us. To be the recipient of the Cardinal's Award, I am truly honored and I am humbled. I find myself blessed by those who surround me on a daily basis. 
that continually support my volunteer efforts regarding the importance of education and reaching out to those in need. To my husband, Anthony, thank you, my children and their spouses, and thank God, 14 beautiful grand grandchildren. <laughs> thank you. Along with the rest of the Clorty family, the Regan family, and my friends who are here tonight, thank you, Deanne Gibbons from Tucson, Arizona, Kathy Leroy from Pasadena, and Ann Kelly, the president of National Christ Child Society, for your guidance and trust in me you are true friends. As a member of the Christ Child Society of Pasadena, I have been inspired to serve children in need by our society's founder, Mary Virginia Merrick. She believed that nothing is ever too much to do for a child. In 1887, she founded what is now a national organization with 44 chapters across the United States. She did this while confined to a wheelchair after a fall in her teenage years. Cardinal Whirl has opened Mary Virginia Merrick's cause for canonization in the Archdiocese of Washington, D.C where she lived and died. Please add to your prayers the success of Miss Mary's path to sainthood to enhance awareness of the many needed children in our country today. I want to thank you all for this award. <clears throat> 